A new day has dawned here in the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. The game is Star Masters, and it is day now, and Roadrunner is about to act. Now, just a little bit of background as to what's going on. So, uh, Roadrunner and Bix Beetleman have been kind of poking at each other a little bit, each of them trying to win, because if they eliminate the other person, then they win. Um, Roadrunner took the Great Start card. Great start to your day! Great start! And Big Speedleman took the right moment. Okay, so Great Start gives a Roadrunner two extra cards. She did something else that gave her two more cards. I haven't looked at any of Bix's cards yet uh, to kind of give. Uh, it's one of the rare opportunities um, right now. Roadrunner's moving before him where I can make decisions for her with her without looking, without having any knowledge uh, as to what Bix might have. So she's going for it. She's going to try and hit him before he can do anything else. Uh, he's alone right now in the swamp. She thinks she can get most of her people there. She just got some new recruits. Do a full, full on attack. The one problem is she doesn't have any. Um, her, her people are, are hurt, but she wants to go for it. Try and just get done with it. She's tired of playing this game. Not that I'm tired of playing this game. I could, I could play this game on and on, it's it's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying seeing, but I think Roadrunner, she wants to get it done. Um, so I'm trying to act on her behalf and have her just go for it, see what happens. Um, yeah, who knows, a lot, a lot, depends on luck at this point. But we'll tell you she got a lot of movement cards in her hand. It's not the best for this, even though she drew four extra cards, but she feels kind of committed to this act because she did two different kind of moves to give herself more cards. Um, yeah, maybe it would be wiser if she kind of held back and waited, but she's going to try and try and do what she can with this. Ba 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 I got my volley off, and now you're volleying. Let's see what you're going to do to me. But I feel good, I think I can take this I take a few hits And then I'll come back ba 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 I have been turned away Blood spills Blood spills upon this day I have been turned away. Blood spills, blood spills upon this day, but I'm not over. No, I'm not gone. This is the right time, this is the right moment to go for the win. I can feel it in my bones that it's time for me to go and make my play. But then looking at the hand I drew, I don't have the sword of justice, so I will back up, come back again, another time of this day. This isn't my time, this isn't my moment, but someday soon we'll see. He let me go again, he is so slow, the fool. Big speed of man to let me go, but I can't go. But to these hills and mountains, sometimes when you're down, you're hurt. And you've fallen on the ground, it hurts Sometimes you need a friend to listen to your problems Sometimes when you scrape your knee It might be good to call on me Cause I'll fish you out an old band-aid
and offer it to a friend. I'll fish out my gauze and tape your knee up again, and you'll be good as new, good as new, as you were the day the Lord made you. Onward we march, we're marching forward to win the day. Let's hope we draw a sword of justice before we get to our destination. I am at the monastery. Sitting in the snow outside the gates at the monastery, the brothers find me, and I whisper, I am in need. Won't you heal me in tranquility? I am in need. What's a man supposed to do without a sword? A man trusts his tools to make war, but sometimes it feels like it's the right moment to move. But swordless, what's a man supposed to do? There is Roadrunner, she's at the monastery. I'm so close, I can taste this victory. And one by one, her men will heal. So it's now the time before the blood congeals. What's a man supposed to do? Without a sword of justice, I've got such attack cards. I don't have my spells, but I think this is the time for the night falls. You swing weakly, so I swat you away. With all ten guardians, I block you with my parlay, and then I strike with rage, improvisation, maximal rage. You strike weakly. I strike strong, we shall see if I hit home. And so with my near victory, let the day come and end, and then with your defeat approaching, let the night begin to end you. So that's going to wrap up the day. A busy day, um, lots of fighting between the two. It's, I don't know how, this is probably not translating onto camera since we're mainly working through song, but um, there has been some progress made despite the fact that we've had two kind of um, battles that didn't, didn't end up with a, a total victor. One of the reasons that's happened is because both were fairly fresh combatants. I know their benches have been damaged, 
but their decks didn't have a lot of wounds in them, and so if, you're, if your hand isn't full of wounds, you're okay, or you're able to keep going. So they've been retreating. Uh, Roadrunner kind of won out the day, partially due to luck. She got an Earthquake card, which lowered the armor of all of Bix Beetleman's people, so he wasn't able to distribute as many wounds as he could have. He ended up with five in his hand, and that went in his deck. Um, that That's going to be what... Uh, probably what takes them down in the end, how many wounds they end up with her deck. Uh, Roadrunner also, you know, she got some luck from that from her, her power jewel, which gave her that Earthquake card. Um, she also burned a card. She burned a powerful attack card, Blood Rage, with her um, maximal effect, and that's what allowed her to do so much damage to Bix in the first place. Otherwise, he had a, he had a pretty standard attack hand. He didn't have a Sword of Justice, which he kind of depends upon. So having that Blood Rage really helped, but it's no longer in her deck, so that's going to hurt her. And we already saw at the beginning of this day how having too many movement cards has um, inhibited her. She she was in a good good position if she had gotten some attack cards to take Bix out right at the beginning of the, at the turn, but she had all these movement cards, and that wasn't so useful for attack. She wasn't that far away. She could have just fly, flew over to him with this and attacked him, but... Um, so she's using the maximal uh, effect to kind of do these finishing move cards. She's also losing those cards at the same time. So it's, it's kind of interesting. We'll see what happens. They each have one person on their bench they can use. Bix has the personnel advantage. She has these people. Um, I think Roadrunner's maybe in a better map position. She's on the monastery, so she can, you know, before attacking, she can buy some healing, maybe get some people back. Bix, I don't think, can get any healing from any of these places. Like, yeah, he's surrounded by swamp and some hills. Uh, though he could maybe get a healing place there. I don't know. But he also has, you know, he has Axel and Faye with him. Um, Roadrunner can easily cut him cut him off from his other force. It's Sigurd, I guess. Not, not much there. So that's where we're at. Uh, it seems like it's going to end soon, but it could be a while. I mean, this is a deck building game. So, I mean, well, it has a deck building component. So how the wounds come up that's in their deck is going to going to um, determine greatly like whether or not they can survive combat or not, or limp away, which is what they've been doing. We'll find out what happens next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitary Mega Tournament Starman.